What's going on, guys? We have some great content coming in MLB The Show 23. We got our fan favorite shark map, conquest map coming in the middle of the week this week. We also have the new extreme program coming out. So if you guys need tips and tricks how to beat the extreme program, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on so you guys get notified when every video goes live. And you guys can watch me over on kick.com forward slash American Blood. Grind this program live over or over on TikTok. Just search American Blood. I'll be over there as well. So go give me a follow over there if you haven't already. If you guys only watch me on YouTube. But taking a look at this calendar on July 25th, we have the Conquest map with hidden treasures and 30 plus packs. Normally, this Conquest map was somewhat difficult in the past but they've made it easier over the years but there might be things that we have to steal fans or capture certain territories by a certain turn but i really think they were going to save that for the extreme program i think we might get an extreme conquest map i forgot what we got last year but extreme conquest map possibility extreme showdown possibility and then overall some extreme mission possibility like hit two or three home runs or have three extra base hits in a game. Stuff like that is what we might be expecting for the Extreme program coming on Friday. But if you guys need any tips and tricks on beating the Extreme program, this is the place for it. We'll be posting videos. But that's not all we're going to be talking about in today's video. We're going to be talking about a way that you guys can make some stubs, get some XP, level up your season xp reward path basically like a battle pass save up some packs everyone wants ellie de la cruz and a chase pack so why not save up as many standards packs as possible and possibly post po, uh, pull a chase pack from a standard pack and that's going to be in the new mini seasons that came out wouldn't be cool if we got like an extreme mini seasons that'd be kind of cool too but we have a new mini seasons that came out. It's called the Righty Tidy. Um, there's a bunch of goals that you guys can do. Legendary Ks they got. Uh, we record three strikeouts on legend difficulty in a single game. You can only do that once, but it does get you a ball and pack and 1500 XP. Work 10 walks while playing all star difficulty or, or higher. And you get a diamond duos random pack. You only do that one once. I think that one should be a choice pack because getting 10 walks is not easy on any difficulty. And in a single season, win 10 games while playing an all star difficulty higher, you get a diamond duos choice pack. You can do this once per season. So every 10 wins, if you just want to grind diamond duo choice packs, grind those rare rounds, just get 10 wins, restart your season, get 10 wins again. Yeah, that's a longer grind for 1500 XP but it's really the choice pack that you're going after hoping for those rare rounds. So that could definitely net, net you some decent stubs if you get really lucky. In a single season tally, 20 extra base hits with players with 100 or more power. You get sh five show packs. You can do this once per season. So you can do this multiple times by restarting your season. In a single season tally, 25 hits with uh, players less than 100 power. Another five show packs. So that's another repeatable mission that you guys can do every season. Record 30 putouts with outfielders. You get a diamond duos pack you can only do that one once and record 100 total batter space while pitching you can do this once per season this is the mission guys this right here is gonna be the mission of the season in a single season win five mini season games those are the righty tidy booster packs and lower end diamonds some xp uh win 10 you get another one Win 15, you get another one. This one is repeatable, so you can get the remainder of the uh, booster pack players uh, just by getting 15, so you have to do it uh, a couple times. Uh, finish the regular season, you get some XP and some stubs. First, finish in first place, you get another Diamond Duos Choice Pack. In the semifinals, XP and stubs, normal. Win the championship, you get a 15-pack bundle plus some XP and stubs, and you get this new Starling Marte. And the mystery mission I already figured out, win 20 games on all-star difficulty, and you will get this reward. Don't know what it is. Probably a Diamond Duos choice pack is my guess. Could be something better, but I'm thinking it's going to be a choice pack of some sort. Could be an all-star game choice pack or something, maybe. I don't know but you only get it once anyway. So what we're gonna be doing in this video is I wanna show you guys how fast can we get to this repeatable mission. It says record 100 total batter space. We already have 11 in the one full game that we played. We have to face 
a hundred batters and we get five packs for it and it's repeatable we can do it every season so what we would do is we'll go into this game right here and we're going to see exactly how long this takes i'm just going to do it on all-star doesn't matter what difficulty i don't think so we're going to go ahead and do it on all-star here pitcher does not matter well it kind of does i don't want them well it's it's cpu stats what, what does it matter for cpu stats it really doesn't uh we do hit first which is kind of a sad face we're gonna hop into this game and we're gonna base what we can do here i'm gonna show you guys exactly how long it takes uh to get uh to face 100 batters and it doesn't really count when we're hitting so we're just gonna go ahead and hit not really hit nice bunt jackie nice bunt all right so i will probably fast forward this until we get to the point where we're actually pitching the ball all right so now we are pitching so what are we going to do here we're basically going to be intentionally walking everyone we face 100 batters roughly that should be what around 90 runs 96 runs i think will be 90 well 100 batters however we already have 11 so track that like 80 something goal is to see how long this takes is it worth the five packs and the xp i think it is i don't think this is going to take any longer than five or kind of like casually doing this. this is probably what i'll be doing when i'm watching streams or watching youtube videos i mean free packs or free packs if i can rack up 50 of these 100 of these do this like five or ten times uh a day when i'm just chilling watching tv or something why not it's gonna give me free packs it's gonna give me a chance at ellie Dela cruz it's gonna get those uh in the xp reward pass so all that's gonna add up and it's only gonna take about five to ten minutes roughly is what you're gonna probably see probably what eight or nine runs per minute I'm assuming what we're gonna be looking at. Maybe more. Once we once you have the bases loaded, it goes kind of fast. It just the walk-ups and stuff kind of slow it down. Even though I have fast play on, I don't know why they have like they do replays and stuff in this, which makes no sense. I have fast place enabled. Uh, fast play is enabled for offline game modes, but for some reason in many seasons, it does not like to work. But is this the most fun thing in the world to do? But is it the easiest way to get uh, packs right now? Yeah, it is. Um, I am gonna play through a mini seasons though, just to get the all the other rewards and stuff, the mystery reward, all that good stuff. After I'm done doing that i think this doing this you know a little bit here or there just getting some extra packs and stuff definitely the move especially if you need stubs like i don't typically need stubs but if you need stubs this might be the move because you might get that those five packs one of them might have a chase pack in it you might pull Dela Cruz and then boom, all of a sudden you got like half a million stubs. So there are people out there that that will happen to that do this. So for you guys, this is definitely going to be worth it. Um, If you got really good pack luck and you just happen to hit, hit on one. Like I said, the more you do this, the more chances you have and getting those rewards. So why not do it? You're going to have a chance at getting some of the best rewards and you're getting free packs so you might pull other diamonds or other golds that might get roster updates or something like that so why not do this well when you mess up like i do don't do that i held l1 and i let go of it i guess but already at like 22 runs so far that means we've faced about 25 batters right because so there's three batters on base batters that we're facing but this should work doesn't i'll be sad but that's why i wanted to make a video on this here it works making sure it's good to go before we actually got it so I, this is my first time doing it it should work i don't even think we should have to play another inning or nothing simply get through these batters and we should be able to quit out and get that reward done and that's kind of the goal here. so i'm going to fast forward through all this I'm not going to really talk i'm just going to do this and i will talk to you guys once we're a little closer to it all right so we have hit nine well 90 runs for our opponents which should put us over that mark 100 batters obviously we already had 11 so 90 plus the three batters three runners that would be 93 so they win and then we should have gotten a five pack bundle in which we did so now what we can do once we have the five pack bundle how you guys restart so you go back to the main menu of it a press a and you gotta hold it to restart it you say yes you go start it you start over go to your goals and you will notice that you can do this mission again for another 500 xp and five show pack stack this up as many times as you want you might get lucky in those packs. We only got five, so our chance of getting lucky is very, very slim. But we might as well open them on today's video just to see. Open up 100 of these. Obviously, your odds are going to be a lot better. Hey, free 500 stubs right there with a uniform. We'll take that. And another bronze. And last pack is a 78. So 
I mean, not terrible, not the best, but if you can do that multiple times, you're still getting 500 XP on top of that. And it only took, it took me about 10 minutes, about 10 to 11 minutes full. But anyways, if you guys enjoy this, we got the shark map coming up. We got the uh, extreme program coming up. You guys got a new mini seasons that you can grind some packs and some XP on. Go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Turn those notifi notifications on so you guys don't miss out when every video goes live. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.